I, I didn't have enough time with Chadwick. I mean, it's a statement that I know everyone is making. We got a good thing, babe. And everyone can make because he was here far too short a time. Chadwick was a deeply kind and gentle person and very present and thoughtful. And those qualities are all so present in his work. We will never break. He's a historical figure as the Black Panther, but also such a good and decent human being. Chadwick, my friend, you will forever be remembered by your warm smile, your kind heart, and your fierce courageousness through great adversity. He just wanted to follow the guy into anything, you know? From the moment Chadwick stepped on screen, he just bought it. He was always grace and humility personified. I know that I ride the coattails of his success, that I stand on his great shoulders. How you held yourself will live on. When we talk about forever, then forever's what we mean. He gave all of us and all of our children an example of a great, gracious, and humble leader. Thank you for inspiring us and the kids around the world. We will never break. It's only fit to be mourning him like a king. Chadwick's legacy is, uh, is almost too big to, to fully comprehend yet. The way he handled his life and managing cancer with such humility and grace and dignity lets us all know that he truly was a superhero. I just love you, man. I have a wonderful journey. Wherever it is that you're going, they're lucky to have you. This loss is felt around the world. People in every country. He was pretty amazing. He is Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! For a generation of kids, Chadwick Boseman is the defining image of a superhero. Strong, powerful, and black. His iconic portrayal of the Black Panther sealing his place in history. Some people, they roll their eyes and go, you know, come on, it was just a movie. You know, but was Rocky just a movie or did it inspire? That's what Chadwick embodied specifically. He embodied an idea, a promise, a potential. He will be remembered, cherished, and loved in our hearts, not just for what he was able to offer on film, but what he was able to give as a human being. And it's not just a loss that we're feeling. We're going to feel his absence his absence. An artist, a movie star, a cultural hero, Bozeman made his name portraying American icons. Jackie Robinson, James Brown, Thurgood Marshall. I thought back to all of those performances and all those incredible people that he's played and I realized I don't think you can do it as convincingly as he did if he didn't possess that same grace in real life, you can't act that. Just after his career reached stratospheric heights, a sudden and devastating blow, Bozeman dying after a four-year battle with colon cancer. I'm just completely blown away about how this man was able to not only do as much work as he did while also battling uh, colon cancer. I mean, you can't help but wonder if he was touched by God. The news of his death shattering many of Hollywood's biggest names. You were the last person I thought would leave us. You were the last person I thought could leave us so soon. You're not just my friend. You're not just my hero. You are my superhero. You are my Black Panther. It's a tough loss. He had that power um, in his art to define a generation. He is, I mean, even, you know, he is that. 
um, generation defining actor. Director Ryan Coogler releasing a statement saying, I have to reckon with the fact that Chad is an ancestor now, and I know he'll watch over us until we meet again. I think anytime he did anything publicly, you felt the, you know, the weight and the, the gravitas that he brought to the roles he played as he applied them to the real world. But Bozeman's impact going far beyond the entertainment industry. President Obama and Michelle Obama posting their memories. The former first lady writing, I saw that Chadwick's brilliance on screen was matched by a warmth and sincerity in person. I can't think of an actor who would be considered more irreplaceable, less dispensable, more absolutely necessary right now than Chadwick Boseman. And so that he's gone is a monumental loss for everyone. Chadwick Boseman grew up in South Carolina, writing his first play in high school, then going on to attend the historically black college, Howard University. Anyone who went to Howard reminds you at every chance they get that they went to Howard. Years later, Bozeman revealing that one of his idols had paid for him and several other students to attend a summer acting program in the UK, something he talked to my colleague Michael Strahan about at the Oscars. Denzel Washington paid for you to go to an Oxford program, a theater program when you were a student, and you had a chance to finally talk to him and thank him. And what was that conversation like? Uh, it was a fun conversation. He, he, the first thing he said was, you owe me money, you know. <laughs> I, came, like this, yeah. I, I came to collect. Bozeman publicly repaying that debt of gratitude, honoring Washington as he accepted the American Film Institute's Lifetime Achievement Award. There is no Black Panther without Denzel Washington. <laughs> After graduating from Howard in 2000, Chadwick Boseman went on to work in Hollywood, mostly in television. Here's the pitch. But his breakout role came in 2013 as baseball legend Jackie Robinson in the movie 42. Yeah, what you gonna do if one of these pitchers throws at your head? Yeah. Hey, Jack. Yeah. I'll duck. <laughs> Robinson's daughter sharing her memories of the actor. We felt he was accurate. He got the intensity of my father. He really built on uh, the, the importance of my dad's character. You really felt the the anguish and the frustration, um, and you know, and that was was my dad. That's how he would be feeling at that moment on the field in Philadelphia. Bozeman had a gift for embodying real-life heroes. In 2014, taking on music icon James Brown in Get On Up. When I hit that stage, two people better be ready. Especially the white one. The actor doing all his own dancing. Did it scare you at all, Chad? I felt like nobody should do this. I went online and looked at the footage of him <laughs> dancing. And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest thing was the groove. You know, James Brown's groove. Once you get that, you sort of understand the rest of it. He did an amazing job. Brown's daughter, Dr. Yama Brown, reflecting on Bozeman's work ethic. He came down to dad's home in South Carolina. We went through old costumes. I mean, literally old, old clothes. He tried on clothes and just tried to embody him and, and did a lot of research, worked with a choreographer five hours a day, and then came back even after he got all set to do even more work. I will be forever indebted to him for how he made my dad's life story come to life like that. In 2017, Bozeman would again portray an American legend, civil rights attorney, and the first black justice on the Supreme Court, Thurgood Marshall. The NAACP isn't taking any deals. The NAACP isn't the one with its life on the line here. Yes, it is, goddammit. He was somebody that I expected to be very intimidated by, and, and when I met him, it was like we had known each other for a decade, and... There was such an approachability. But Bozeman's career-defining role would be bringing a fictional hero to life. He roared onto the screen as T'Challa, Black Panther in Marvel's Captain America Civil War. Two years later, in 2018, Bozeman revealing Wakanda to the world. Woo! Let's go! Black Panther, directed by Ryan Coogler and featuring a mostly black cast, 
genre and box office busting in every way. There's obviously a thirst for something. What's the thirst you think? People are starved for the images that, that they see. They Spectre see power, pride. spectacle, uh, intelligence. Um, achievement. So people can see not just themselves, but their dreams. They see their dreams. It's aspirational. Very often in Hollywood, if there's a lot of black people in it, it's seen as a black movie, not a universal movie. But this time, it was constructed and imagined as a universal movie. Please welcome Chadwick Boseman. Boseman becoming a bona fide movie star, from late night talk shows to red carpets and award stages. We all know what it's like to be told that there is not a place for you to be featured, yet you are young, gifted, and black. T'Challa would lead him to the next two Avengers films. The biggest grossing movies of all time. We had no idea that he had been diagnosed with colon cancer in 2016. He endured countless surgeries and chemotherapy treatments while he was playing some of these uh, remarkable characters in these terrific films. In 2018, he triumphantly returned to his alma mater, Howard University, delivering the speech at the school's 150th commencement. The fact that you have struggled with this university that you love is a sign that you can use your education to improve the world that you are entering. Chadwick knew and understood the importance of using this platform to do something greater than to benefit himself. At the beginning of this year, Bozeman was gearing up to debut his newest film, the Netflix feature, The Five Bloods, directed by Spike Lee. Bloods! Let's see what we got here. The film premiering in June in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hollywood largely shut down, gone silent. His final post on social media, the day Senator Kamala Harris, a fellow Howard University graduate and friend, was named the Democratic vice presidential nominee. That his last tweet was to encourage people to exercise their right as citizens to vote, to participate in their democracy, born out of love of country. I, it just, it's so reflective of, of Chadwick. Just 17 days later, the incomprehensible news that the first black movie superhero to headline his own franchise had died. The grace and courage that Chadwick displayed while fighting for his life is immeasurable. I don't think people appreciated just how great he was while he was living. And while it's exhilarating to hear all these great things being said and written about him, uh, it's only my hope that he would have heard them while he was still with us. Nobody was having more fun. If you look back on it, you think, well, if you knew that your time might be limited, you'd have as good a time as you could as well. Bravo for him. He played icons and now has become an icon himself, and his legacy is one for the ages.